What's going on guys? Stevie here with Lucky Crit. I don't want to make this video today, but I'm going to because I think that as a community we need a video that we'll be able to share so Niantic could easily find it and be able to see what everyone else is thinking if they're not even going to actually bother to read through some of the Reddit posts that are already up right now. So last night and early this morning, a lot of Redditors began to notice that if you're traveling over 30 miles per hour, there's been a server-side change when it comes to nearby Pokemon and your nearby tracker. Essentially, if you're going over 30 miles per hour, you will no longer see any Pokemon in your nearby for about 20 seconds. If you are traveling over 30 miles per hour, you are not going to see any Pokemon in your nearby from this point on. Now, I'm hoping that this is just a glitch and I'm gonna play devil's advocate and assume for part of the point that it is just a glitch and it will be fixed. But if this is actually a conscious effort by Niantic to, in their eyes, improve the game, this is a mistake. And I think that it could potentially kill Pokemon Go if this is going to remain in the game and if this is going to be the way that the game is from this point on. If this is a change that you want to make because you don't want people to drive and play Pokemon Go, then I understand from that perspective. You want people to get out of the car and walk around and find Pokemon. Fine. That's cool. But you're going to be screwing over a lot of the rural people and people who don't have stuff near their house. So now what's the point? They have to drive who knows how long to go to their nearby Pokemon spot that they go to and then if there's nothing good there they just get right back in the car and, and leave and go back home like you can't drive around until you find something rare on the nearby like what's the problem with having somebody playing in the car for you what's the problem with having somebody watching the nearby as you're driving around so you can find cool stuff like there's nothing wrong with that as long as you the driver are paying attention to the road and not causing accidents secondly the coding of the game is not good enough for a change like this. And I'm not saying that to be rude or say that the game code is bad. What I'm saying is, I have gotten the you're going too fast pop up while walking and while riding my bike. And I understand that riding a bike can go fast, but I'm talking about sometimes the app and your GPS just freaks out and you start teleporting all around and you get this pop up. So what does that mean from this point on? Now you're just randomly going to be kind of minorly soft banned for 20 seconds while walking around if your app decides to freak out and you're not going to be able to see any Pokemon on the nearby or the sightings for 20 seconds? Is this going to be like a common occurrence from this point on? Like half the time you're not even going to be able to find any Pokemon around you? Like, it can't be like that. Everybody who has a Pokemon Go Plus and was excited about getting a Pokemon Go Plus, myself included, I was still looking to get one until this morning. Now that device is essentially useless. Now, yeah, it's going to save your battery still and you can still hit Pokestops and stuff with it, but you're no longer going to be able to use it for half the reasons that you wanted to use it initially. People can't ride the bus and catch Pokemon anymore if this stays the way that it is. You essentially made it useless to own a Pokemon Go Plus unless you want to just save a little bit of battery and at $35 I don't think that's the way to go I think then you might as well buy yourself a power brick and get even more use out of it than the stupid Pokemon Go Plus. There's, there's a father that posted his comment on Reddit talking about how his two sons were excited and he was gonna get them a Pokemon Go Plus for Christmas each of them. That's awesome! I would be excited to get a Pokemon Go Plus on Christmas but now it's useless. There's no point. You just sold a product to everybody and you've just made it so much worse with this change. I thought part of the whole point of the Go Plus was so that you can hit it and just press it and not have to worry and you could just focus on driving or whatever. Casually playing, that's the point of it. Now you can barely do that. I've stood by a lot of the changes in this game and I'm worried that it's going to get to a point where I can't stand by it anymore. This, this change bothers me and am I going to stop playing? I don't think so. Am I going to stop putting money into the game? Sure. I've spent about $30 on Pokemon Go so far, and I was happy with that purchase because the amount of fun that I got out of the game is worth more than that to me. But from this point on, I'm not going to monetarily support you if you're making active changes to make the game worse. It doesn't make sense. Pay attention to what you're doing and what all of the effects are, what all of the outcomes are for those choices. You've once again made the game worse for rural players, players without stuff around them, when it was actually getting better for them, you're making it possible for us to have a disadvantage all the time if our phones are freaking out because that pop-up for the going too fast is already annoying as it is. I'm sick and tired of clicking on it every single day. I wish there was a button that says, remember this setting or whatever. So remember the fact that I'm clicking okay on this. I never want to see it again. I understand that I'm not supposed to play while I'm driving. I get it. And also with a lot of the recent updates, 
you're breaking more things than you're actually fixing. Every update, there seems to be some new little bug that happens with things. I mean, you made evolutions faster, and then I noticed in my last video, the sound glitched out after I evolved something. I evolved it, the sound stopped playing, and then it replayed for a second, the last sound for the evolution. So it's just sped up a little bit. I kind of thought it'd be even faster than this, actually, but... Ugh, quick attack, dude. Anyway. There's, like, no quality control here. You said that you fixed audio issues with the last update. Getting a notification still kills the game audio. What did you fix? Should've sent. Game audio. Broken. Sad day. You didn't fix that. You could easily fix that. There's so many awesome suggestions on Reddit from people on how to fix certain things in your game. In fact, I'm pretty sure I saw a post on Reddit that just talks about how that's a problem with Unity, and all you have to do is use a newer Unity engine for the game, which, you know, maybe I don't understand how difficult it is to port between those two versions, but I think you could do it with your team. So why haven't you? Secondly, with, with tracking, right? Everybody's wondering when we're gonna get the tracker that's in San Francisco right now, and um, if we're never getting it, that's cool. I don't really like that tracker, I think it's stupid going to Pokestops and finding the Pokemon there. I like actually exploring and adventuring. But if we're not going to get it, like, we want to hear an update. Tell us what's going on with that. The fact that you're silent again is so infuriating. All it would take is a simple fix to make tracking in the game right now even better. I have seen so many amazing suggestions on Reddit on how to fix tracking or even just make it slightly better. I've seen stuff like putting compass needles under each of the Pokemon so you know the direction to go to find that Pokemon. How much better would that be? That'd be amazing. It'd be great. Whenever I go out and find Pokemon, it seems to be that the fifth slot in the nearby tracker is what spawns near me. The fifth one. So if it's consistently the same spot in the tracker, why can't that be the first spot? Why is it the fifth spot? Why is it messed up to the point where things are always out of order in the tracker? Like, I, I don't understand why that can't be fixed. The Pokemon closest to you in terms of kilometers. Why is that hard to make that the first Pokemon? It, it doesn't make sense. You're fixing and changing things that don't need to be fixed and changed. You're not focusing on the real problems here. You're driving away everybody because they want these updates. They're so excited about these updates and they're just getting these minor fixes and new bugs added with every update every single time. We're still waiting on a feature that was announced in the Super Bowl trailer, trading, a feature that has been present in every main series Pokemon game. We're still waiting for it. If you're trying to kill the game, you're doing a very good job of it because this could have been a more amazing game than it is. And I love the game. I'm not gonna sit here and hate on the game the whole time. I really love this game. I want it to continue. I don't want it to die at all. But it seems like you are trying to kill it because it just seems like with every update and with every change, you are making it worse on purpose. Think about winter time for the East Coast. If you can't see what's on the nearby, are people actually gonna be going out in the freezing cold to look around for Pokemon when there's a chance that there's nothing even good there at all? I don't think so. If you keep this change, this game will die in the winter. No one will play it. And maybe they'll come back next year if you add Generation 2 or whatever, but don't do that. Don't make the game worse right now and drive everybody else away. I'm gonna conclude the video by just saying, please get rid of this. People should be able to see Pokemon on the nearby when they're driving. I hope this is a bug. I really hope that it's going to go back to the way that it was. I hope the Pokemon Go Pluses aren't useless. Please fix your game. And to everybody at Reddit, if you could share this video, if we could get them to see this video, or at least these topics on Reddit in general, make sure that they are seeing them, are reading them, understand that players are mad about this. That would be amazing. We need them to know this. We don't want this game to die. Do you like money in your pockets? Like, I, I don't understand. If you like the money, make better fixes. Make the changes that people want to see in the game. <sighs> anyway, to anybody on Reddit, please share this video. Please share those topics. Please upvote those topics. Make sure that Niantic sees this and understands that this is a huge mistake for the game. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Stevie. This has been Lucky Crit, and I'll see you guys next time.